Okay, to make your awesome Mother's Day gift, van a necesitar el papel que la maestra te dio, so the paper that your teacher gave you, unas marcadores, some markers, y unas pinturas, some paints. But wait, I don't have any paint. That means I'm going to have to make some. First thing we're going to do, the poem is about handprints or huellas. So va a ser arte de huellas. So it's going to be uh, art about fingerprints. So primero vamos a trazar el mano del niño. So first we're going to trace the child's hands. I recommend doing it in pencil, but I'm going to be brave and do it in marker. So Julian, ¿qué color quieres usar? Gray. Gray? Okay. So. Voy a trazar, I am tracing around the hand the best I can. El más mejor que yo puedo, ¿verdad, Julian? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. All right, Julian, let's look at that handprint. What do you think? Good. Good? Awesome. Muy bien, okay. All right, so, Julian, now... We need the fingerprints. Necesitamos las huellas porque la poema de huellas, right? We're talking about fingerprints. So, but we don't have paint like they have at school, do we? No. So what can we do? How can we problem solve that? Make some paint. We made some paint. So, si no tienes pintura en casa, here I have homemade paint. So, al final del video te voy a enseñarte cómo hacer pintura en la casa. So, if you watch to the very end, I will show you how to make homemade paint at home. But, Julian, this is how we're going to do it. So. You're going to dip this finger in first, and then you're going to put it right on top of there, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, and then we'll put it right there. Count to five. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Lift it up. That's not dark enough, is it? Yeah. No. What about this one? Do you think this will be dark enough? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, dip your finger in. Turn. Sure. Okay. Are you done? Uh-huh. Put it right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Lift it up. <gasps> can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, there's another way you can do your fingerprints. The other way you can do this is, pon tu mano así otra vez. Vamos a poner este. Okay, puedes pintar los dedos. You can paint the fingers. Entonces vas a poner tu huella aquí al puntito. There we go. So we're going to paint your pinky finger now. And we're going to put it right there. Muy bien. Y como vas a ver tu mamá que esto es de ti no de Sebastián? How are we going to know that you're gonna, you made this for your mom and not your brother? Um, your name. Your name. Name on your paper. First I want to make one for my brother too. You're going to make one for your brother? Okay, maybe for Brother's Day. So, así haces el regalo para tu mamá. So, that is how you make your present for your mom for Mother's Day. Um... Yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Keep watching to see how to make those watercolor paints at home. Okay, so ahora, the marcador, I'm going to get my marker and my water. This marker is just a super dry marker that my kid has left the cap on for many days. So, este nomás es un marcador seco que no ha tenido la tapa por muchos días. So, lo voy a poner adentro. Y mira cómo saca todo la... Pintura que queda, lo saca para y lo pone en la agua. So, you see how all the ink that is left is kind of sucking it out and putting it in the water. Y vamos a dejar eso por unos minutos. So, leave it in there for a few minutes. Hey, se ha pasado como unos tres minutos. We have about three minutes to have passed. And look how dark our paint has got. And that is how you make homemade watercolor. So, Así es como hace pintura de agua en casa. The longer you leave your marker in, the darker it gets. So, el más tiempo que pones el marcador en el agua, más oscuro se hace. So, ahí está esa opción. Si lo quieren usar, hasta luego.